All right, hey guys. So, um, we just came back from the Comic-Con, which they're finally starting to do now that COVID's starting to slow down a little bit. Um, we did do Fan Expo. It was a little late last year, I think October-ish or something, but we didn't really do any surprise boxes for that, so I obviously didn't make a video for that. But we did Comic-Con today. It was the opening day super, super busy. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to be there just for like a, an hour. And I was there for almost two hours just getting in, doing my stuff, going up and down the, the aisles. And this is just one building. It's just the North building. So it's not even the bigger building. <laughs> but yeah, so it was really, really busy. So if you're looking to go, I don't know, I'd, I'd say Sunday maybe might start dying down a little bit because by then all the celebrities have come and gone basically and there'll still be celebrities of course but then again what do I know I thought today was going to be <laughs> dead too but I guess not so anyway so we ended up getting three surprise boxes because the big table that does surprise boxes at the fan expo was there and uh, they had a few new boxes so we have some new boxes to do today. So you guys have seen some of these boxes, like not the ones we're going to show you, but from this company, we've done Cobra Kai, we've done Buffy, we've done Supernatural. Um, so you've seen boxes from these, this company. So today we're going to start with Star Wars, uh, the Bad Batch. Yeah, so I have my flashlight on here, so hopefully it's going to not be too bad. Sorry guys, I thought you already had this open, and apparently you did not. Alright, so. Alright, now we have the Batch & Co. Comb Force picture. We have, this is cool, a multicolored pen. So, that's awesome. Um, mind you, oh, actually this is pretty cool, because you know what? We don't, I don't see a lot of these around anymore. These are the ones, guys, I thought it was, with the, the things that you can just kind of push down, and then they have the different colors there to push down. I don't see these a lot anymore. They were huge in the 90s and maybe even the early 2000s, but I don't see them so much anymore. So that's pretty cool. Then we got some buttons. We have a keychain. We have a notebook. Finally, we have a nice picture. Or is it a plate? I'm not sure. I think it's like another picture, but it's not like the perfect picture. Yes. This is more like a glass, a glass uh, picture. Yeah. So it's a glass thing. So that's actually pretty cool. It says the Bad Batch Clone Force 99. Yeah, 99. So that is our Star Wars. Star Wars. I think I just said Star Wars. <laughs> it's our Star Wars box. It's his Star Wars box, actually, my husband's. He chose that box. I chose two boxes. The first box I chose was a Disney Pride Collection box. I feel like there's a lag on my computer. Like I say something and then it shows up here a couple seconds later. 
Alright, so we're gonna start with a Mickey Mouse doll. Oh wow. That's pretty cool. We saw this I almost yeah. wanna hide it. Don't wrap them off for my own. We saw this at the Disney and uh Then we have a Mickey Mouse figure. Looks like that one is icon violet. You got black, violet, orange, and blue. So those are the different ones you can get. And we got the purple one. So that's pretty cool. And then we got a collection lanyard with the Mickey Mouse ears uh, keychain. Oh, no, sorry, two separate things. Okay, so there's the Mickey Mouse keychain, and then there's the Mickey Mouse lanyard. And then we also have one of those Mickey Mouse bows, which, since I don't use them, I might actually throw it in the little surprise box that we have for my raffle. And it's not an online raffle, guys. I do it, I do a... A fundraiser for Megan's Walk every year, or Megan's Hug, as it's now known. Um, so I'm gonna have a few items at my fundraiser on April uh, 29th. So if anybody's watching this video and you live in Toronto, come along Gerard near Coxville on April 29th, Saturday, April 29th. Um, I believe I start at 11 a.m. and. Uh, go for a few hours into the afternoon, about two or three, I think. I'd have to double check my hours from last year. And uh, yeah, we just, we have a nice raffle and we raffle off a bunch of great stuff. So, yeah, if, if it's not Saturday, it'll be probably Sunday or it'll be um, the following weekend. So for anybody who lives in Toronto, April 29th, which is a, the last Saturday of the month, April, will be my fundraiser for Sick Kids Hospital. Might as well plug that while I'm here. Anyways, the last box is a horror box, which could come with something from Annabelle, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Nun, or Friday the 13th. When I first saw this box, I actually thought it was an Annabelle box and then also a Friday the 13th box. Turns out, no. So I have no idea what I'm getting, but it should be from those items. So, it is not. <laughs> uh, because the very first item I get is the Pennywise doll that looks completely wrong. <laughs> that doesn't look like Pennywise at all. But... <laughs> oh, God, slap. Then, ooh, loving this hat. Look at this hat, guys. This is the Shining Twins baseball cap. That is wicked cool. Then we have ooh, Nightmare on Elm Street. This is a backpack, I do believe. Never sleep again. He's going to open it up and we're going to find it as a backpack. And then he'll open up that as well. Like oh, it's like a purse thing. It doesn't actually have um, a thing, but it's more like a purse with the thing. But it does say, never sleep again. So that is actually pretty cool. I'm actually waiting to make it a much bigger surprise box. Oh, I didn't get this last one. Okay. And then we have Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. Okay. Um, it looks like it's like a wallet type thing. Shining. So this is a lanyard from The Shining. It says red rum. And then it has the plastic that actually says The Shining on it. And then all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Oh. So that is pretty cool. And you're putting all these bags because you don't want them to do, which kind of sucks. All right, so it turns out this is like a makeup case slash 
wallet. It does have like things in here. I don't know if you can see them, but it you can like put cards and stuff in here. There's like card slots. And then there's two separate containers in here. Like there's a divider. So it's kind of like a makeup case type thing. That's the welcome to Camp Crystal Lake thing. So I'm just going to try to put those back in the bags. So yeah, so those are the boxes we got. Uh, some of those items I think are going to end up in my raffle. I don't know if I'm going to stick with the small boxes because when we got our three boxes, we got two mini boxes, which is about yay big and yay big. They're, they're, they're actually maybe like that. They're pretty small. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to continue. Yeah, here you go. See, these are the two small boxes we got. They each actually only have one item in them. And so I don't know if I'm going to do that or if I'm going to um, take some of the stuff and make one more bigger surprise box. We'll see how it goes. So anyways, that's it for now. We do have another video coming pretty soon. Um, we have our horror box coming in from uh, Culture Fly. Thank you. We have our horror box coming in from Culture Fly. We have one more after that before we renew. So keep a lookout for that. And I will talk to you guys later.